Yo, what's good everybody and welcome back to the International Battle Association, the IBA Draft League, otherwise known as, these words are not going in order. My name is Q the Costa Rican, welcome back to the IBA, it is season 3, it is week 3 of season 3 in the IBA, those are 3 letters, we got the 3 amigos on the screen right now, me, Kiram, and scared guy. Uh, um, so yeah man, in week 3 of season 3 of the IBA, my Chicago Dragapults, hello, how you doing? Are taking on JV, coach of the Atlanta Victinis. And my man has Kawhi at the team. He's also looking for his first win of season three. So my man is coming out here hungry, uh, what's the, what, motivated, um, and, and probably pissed off. So I'm, I'm assuming he's, he's going to be going for game. Um, but either way, let's talk about the Pokemon my man has available to him. He has Gigantamax, Grimmsnarl, who, fun fact, it was a gigant my, my initial pick for a Gigantamax Pokemon. It's like that's who I wanted while we were doing drafting, but it got snagged before me by JV. So uh, yeah, he's got G-Max Grimmsnarl, is a whole threat, gets access to the Prankster ability, also gets the Frisk ability, uh, which could be could be fun to run if you, like if he's a dedicated G-Max, Frisk in theory isn't like necessarily useless because you get intel, you know what I mean? Like if he just leads off of it, he gets intel on my lead Mon and you know, it's like, I don't know, it's, it could come in handy. Um, up next, he has Corviknight, the Flying Steel Board. Um, this man is strong. This man is powerful. This man can tank attacks. Uh, steel typing just gives it beautiful resistances and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't have any kills yet this season so far, but that could change the day. Who knows? I really don't think he's going to bring Corviknight, but if he does, that's fine. Um, I low-key would prefer that he does bring it, unless it's got some crazy set that I'm unaware of. Uh, but up next, he's got Alakazam, uh, the Psychic Type, beautiful beautiful wizard from Kanto. I don't know what I'm saying. Why am I doing this like it's a draft analysis, bro? Y'all know his team by now. Uh, uh, Alex Zam's a whole threat. He's fast. He can hit hard. Yada, yada, yada. La up next, I was going to say last but not least, we're in the fourth Mon Q. Calm down. <laughs> up next, we got Haxorus, who is also a mad threat. Uh, pure dragon typing, nice and pure. Um, can outspeed a lot of my guys um, if he's rocking a choice scarf or if he gets up a dragon dance. If, if Haxorus gets up a dragon dance, we, in theory, just lose. Like, we just lose. So, like, we can't let that happen. Uh, up next, he's got Tentacruel, the water poison type Tentacruel. Um, this man actually is super fast. Never knew about it until I started helping JV prep for his first two battles. Um, Tentacruel is mad fast. So fast, for no reason. Base 100 speed. Why? Um, it's a really good special wall. Can tank up a lot of attacks. I honestly see him bringing this 100% mainly to try and wall a uh, special G-Max Inteleon. Because obviously that's just a thing that I'm definitely bringing. Um, up next, he has in, uh, the Intimidating Hitmon Top. The Mr. Mr. Show Me Your Moves. Um, like I said, he's an Intimidator. He's a Rapid Spinner. He's a reliable Hitmon Top. is pretty cool. Up next is Gorgeist. Grass Ghost Type. Also gets the Frisk ability. Um, pick up has no competitive viability, so you know. I uh, don't know if he wants to bring that, but uh, it has merit here. Can leech seed shenanigans, can will o wisp my physical attackers, can tank uh, quite a few physical attacks, so you never know. Volcarona is also a whole threat. If this man sets up quiver dances, it is over. Uh, we do have, in theory, an answer to it. Not an answer, but a somewhat of an answer to it. Um, but yeah, Vol if Volcarona starts gets going, uh, it could be a whole problem. Alolan Raichu is pretty fun. Uh, we both have Raichus on our team. I have a Raichu. He has an Alolan Raichu. Are we both bringing one? I think that'd be pretty fun if we did. Um, but yeah, it's a fast electric type with uh, with a psychic secondary typing. Uh, up next is Sanaconda. Could be a Stealth Rocks, or Stealth Rocks leader. Leader? Leader? I think Sanaconda and his last Pokemon, Alolan Marowak, are the only mons on his team that gets Stealth Rocks. Can you imagine if Corviknight got Stealth Rocks? That would be insane. Corviknight would be super dope. It already is super dope, but just give it, giving it Stealth Rocks would be crazy. Um, but yes, I could see him bringing Santa Cana for rocks for a physical wall because it could, in theory, do de like if it gets some coils up, it could do decent against my Urshifu. Um, and my Talonflame, actually, it's a really good hard counter to Talonflame. And then Alolan Marowak, JV loves himself in Alolan Marowak. Don't know if he brings it today, but if he does, it is a threat always and forever. It's just, it's really slow, so, uh... Typically, my mons will outspeed it. But yeah, man, that is enough. That is enough about JV's team. I've been talking about his team for like five minutes now. Let's talk about the team that we are bringing today. I know you see them right here. Let's talk about them. We have Dragapult the Kiram. Rocking the Choice Scarf with Ancient Power, Freeze Dry, Draco Meteor, and Flash of Cannon. Now, this uh, Kiram is just, just your standard max speed, max special attack set. I am Choice Scarf so that I can... Uh, potentially outspeed all the threats that I'm scared of, i.e. Haxorus. I outspeed Noko with Draco Meteor or Freeze Dry. 
um uh what's it called um bug fire volcarona um i outspeed i, I think i oko with ancient power i guess i gotta recheck that I, I mean it's four times super effective i imagine i do as long as he doesn't have a quiver dance up i will outspeed and oko it um freeze dry i think two hit ko's two to three hit ko's a max spadef max hp tentacruel um and it also has a chance to freeze so you never know um and yeah it's just good against like a lot of his mods can oh can i didn't check this calc but can probably oko sanaconda i guess we'll check that calc if it happens um so yeah i don't know man i just really wanted to bring scarf kirim i feel like it's could potentially put in some work here and uh his nickname is dragapult so you know get used to that um, up next the debut of roscoe dash the raichu the cantonian raichu who does speed tie with a lowland raichu uh we're rocking the lightning rod ability with a focus sash because you may or may not be leading off with this man just to see what my man wants to do if he leads off with santa conda we s grass knot it i should have surf I should have surf on this thing. I should have surf. I, I, you know what? I'm last time I told myself to put a to put a, a move on somebody that I forgot. I totally forgot to do it. And you know what? Right now, just live on air, I am putting surf on my guy. Cause I, he has grass knot. Cause last week I, I was gonna bring him to deal with um uh, rebels mammal swine, but I ended up not bringing him. So but now we need surf for the Santa Conda and the Alolan Marowak, who would all, otherwise hard wall me if he's rocking um lightning rod but yeah man so we got surf for the santa conda for the little marowak we do two a ko both of them uh depending on the spread obviously but uh most likely we will be two a KOing them and i feel like i'm mad short i think i might just be slouching it's been such a long time since i recorded a video on the switch like believe it or not the last iba video was recorded like a week and a half ago but uh anyways back to the team breakdown intro thing uh yeah we now have surf on our roscoe dash uh, with Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and Knockoff. So, yeah, there's that. Um, up next, we have Endeavor, the Shiny Talon Flame. Look at this man. Look at him. Beautiful. Um, we have Endeavor, the Shiny Talon Flame. Uh, rocking Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, Defog, and Swords Dance. Now, I typically don't rock Defog because a lot of a lot of these guys in this league really just don't care about hazards. But in the off chance that my man wants to just click Toxic Spikes with, like, his, uh, what's the man called? Tentacruel. Or rocks with his Santa Conda or anything really like I'm just getting rid of him because rocks put in a put in a number on my team with Kirim losing 25%, uh, Raichu losing the Focus Sash, and then Endeavor if I have it wasn't rocking the heavy duty boots would take half HP. So yeah, we're rocking uh heavy duty boots and Defog just for that reason alone. Um, I really wanted to rock protective pads on my Talonflame because I feel like if he does bring Corviknight, he's gonna bring like a max defense, max HP, Rocky Helmet variation, and that would in theory like do more do do better against Talonflame than like just a typical like rock, you know max defense set. But um, I really wanted to bring protective pads just for that reason. But I I can I can't I can't bring Talonflame without bringing heavy duty boost. It's just too risky, especially when they have such reliable hazard setters in Santa Conda and Alola Marowak. So, yeah, I just can't do it. Um, but Sword Stance Flare Blitz will allow us to um, Oko a max defense, max HP Corviknight as long as they didn't set up a bulk up or iron defense or anything like that. So, yeah, that's what we're rocking with. Um, up next, we have Choice Scarf or Shifu nicknamed Romanoff. Now, I didn't know this, but I guess the Shifu can be female. I genuinely I didn't even know it had a gender, to be honest with you. But I guess it did. And I got a female one, so I named it Romanoff because Natasha Romanoff is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. The second video that's the second iba video that i did that joke but anyways yeah we got romanoff uh adamant max speed max attacker actually no i think it's not even max speed max attack i think it's actually just like a little bit of speed and then max attack max hp and then the choice scarf will allow us to outspeed everything that is not also scarfed and or plus one um and like this move th these four moves kind of do a number on his team close combat close combat and ice punch i actually found to do the actually actually the same amount of damage to a haxorus um but if i am at a certain amount of hp HP, I do not want to close combat because then I'll get o code by Outrage. But if I Ice Punch twice, then I'll be fine. Um, so yeah, that's what that's for. Uh, Zen Headbutt hits the Tentacruel for super effective damage, which otherwise I was lacking on my team besides um, Raichu. And uh, yeah, Liquidation Oko's a non-HP invested Volcarona. Um, I don't know if it if it it definitely doesn't Oko like a max HP, max defense Santa Conda. But if he's like a max attack set, then I might. I don't know. You never know. Uh, but up next, we have the Runes, a.k.a. Runerigus, uh, rocking Body Press, Iron Defense, Stealth Rocks, and Earthquake. Now, I was thinking about replacing Iron Defense with a Rock-type move, specifically for the Volcarona. 
um, instead of Iron Defense. Because, like, otherwise, Iron Defense is just good for, like, it's good for, like, Hitmontop, kind of. But Hitmontop's not staying in on me. Like, even if it has Ice Punch, I don't think it's one going to stay in on me. It's decently good against Haxorus, but even though, like, it sets up alongside me, I still lose that that that, that exchange anyways. Um, I guess could potentially be good for Corviknight to power up my body press. You know what? I'm going to, you know what? Nah, I'm going to, I'm going to replace it. I'm going to go with my gut here and replace it right after I'm done talking about Inteleon. I'm gonna go, I'll go with my gut here and replace Iron Defense with like Rock Blast or Rock Slide or something of that nature. Um, and then up next we have Agent O, the Inteleon. The O stands for, I forgot. Oh man, Agent O and the O stands for. Oh snap! He done did it again, or she done did it again, I guess. But <laughs> I don't know why I'm going with this, man. Um, we're rocking choice specs uh, with max speed, max special attack, uh, with snipe shot, ice beam, dark bolts, and air slash. I'm rocking the specs because in the event that like it's Inteleon versus the world, I want to at least be plus one. In special attack, you know what I mean? Like, I can raise my speed in Dynamax form, no problem. I can just never raise my special attack. Now, will this be bad if we're, like, if we're, like, up against Tentacruel and Haxorus in the end game, and now we're specs into either Ice Beam or Snipe Shot or Air Slash? That's gonna suck, but... I guess we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah, man, um, that's the team that we're going to be bringing. I really wanted to bring, I think it was this combo right here. It was, yeah, this combo right here is Selgor, Skuntank. I was really feeling this combo over um, over Talonflame, Runerigus. But I don't know, man. I just couldn't leave Talonflame behind. And I really need, I really like Rocks in this game. Because if he doesn't bring Heavy Duty Boots on his Volcarona, which he 1000% should bring Boots. But, like, he might not because I really only have, like, two Rockers on my team. But... <gasps> And they're not the most reliable either, but it is what it is. Um, they could easily be taunted. So, yeah, I could definitely... If he doesn't bring uh, uh, boots on that thing, it's going to be great. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's going to be the team. Make sure we teach the Rock-type move to Runerigus. And I will see you all when the battle starts. All right, y'all, we are back. We got more people sending around us. And we found my man super quickly. We also did change Iron Defense on the Runerigus to Rock Blast. So, that's what that is. He... Uh -huh. So yeah, he now he's got Rock Blast to deal with, potentially deal with, um, to revenge kill the Volcarona, to potentially break sub on the Volcarona if it's if he's rocking a subset, you never know. So yeah, I don't know. I guess that's all it's good for. Maybe maybe for a little Marowak, but at that point I just click Earthquake. So yeah. Um, let's get the theme that we're using. This is the theme that we are using today to fight the JV in week three of the IBA season three. What music are we want to listen to? Um, let's go with some bead. Some good old-fashioned bead. I'm saying good luck, have fun in the chat to my man JV. Hope you have. All right, so he did bring the Corviknight. Okay, sick. No Volcarona. Wait a minute. No Volcarona, and he brought Alakazam. That's actually kind of wild. Um, so what's a good lead here? I kind of... This is weird. He brought Alola, Marowak, and Corviknight. I'm actually surprised. I'm glad I brought Talonflame. Loki was not going to bring Talonflame, but I'm glad I brought it. Now, if he leads off with the Alolan Marowak, that's kind of the only thing I don't want to see. Right? Marowak, whack, whack, whack. Um, no Haxorus! Wait a minute. I got a... What? No Haxorus? Bruh. No Haxorus? That's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. I kind of just want to lead off with, um, Inteleon. No. Let's lead off with, um, dang. You know what? Screw it. I don't know who to lead off with. I kind of want, you know what? Let's just lead off with, uh, Raichu. Why not? If he so happens to be Lightning Rod, Alola Marowak, then whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. Looks like that's what we're leading off with. Yep. Okay. Seems good. Woo! Good luck. Have fun. Brother. Yo, like I said in the intro, man, JV has not won a game yet. I know we're only three weeks into the season, but it's like, bro, my, I know my man's got to be hungry for one. He's got to be. He might just be going for game turn one. Let's just see how it goes, man. Did we both leave Raichu? Ahi, who's that? That's Alola Marowak. Oh, snap. Is he lightning rod? We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Hold up. He might just be going for rocks. I kind of just want to knock off. Or do I just, just surf? Hold up. Actually, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, I forgot. I forgot what my play was here. I think I just surfed twice. Yeah. I think I just surfed twice. Low key. Let's knock this man out. He could be going for rocks, which would be smart. If he just wants to sack his little Marowak off to rocks, I'm cool with that. To an extent. Um. So, yeah. 
Let's look at my notes. Let's look at this. Let's write some stuff down. All right, let's see what happens first. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would assume he's either going for rocks or he's gonna swap out into uh, Tentacruel. Why was I even thinking about Volt Switch, bro? Like, I always click Surf on this thing. Like, what was I thinking? All right, sick. We are Surf. Rasko Daesh gets the Surf off. Let's see how much damage we do. That's looking like a max HP set to me. And he went for the Poltergeist. Okay. He lands it. Attacks my Focus Sash. And now he's about to pop said Focus Sash. So now I either get a kill on the Alolan Marowak. Or... I hit his tentacle that switches in right now. And he, okay, and he sacks off the old Marowak. All right, cool. So no rocks from him. Raichu. Raichu. KOs. Marowak. So yeah, um. I don't know if he. So no rocks for the rest of the battle. See, this is why I don't want to run heavy duty boots on Talonflame, bro. If I had protective pads and that ends up being Rocky Helmet Corvinite, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself because I think that was only he didn't bring Sanaconda, so I think that was like his only rocks potential. See, so anyway, I'm faster than everything on his team, um, minus Alakazam or or his other Raichu. We speed type if he brings in Raichu. Like he obviously goes Alakazam here to get the kill. Um, in the off chance that he wants to uh, click Nasty Plot, thinking I'm gonna preserve. I don't really need this anymore. Like, in theory, I kind of need... Not need it, but it, it does help against Corviknight. And... Uh, but, like, I really don't want to take any attack again. Like, I just don't want to. I'm just going to knock off in the off chance that he either is modest... And he, he does click Psychic. Okay, so that's smart on him. But imagine I had Dark-type or Shifu. I'm just saying. So now we don't know what this man's set is. Now, what are we going to do against... Uh, presume... Uh, we're, it's, he's assumed to be, what, Life Orb Zam? We're just going to assume that? All right. Can anyone Oko you? Even though you are most definitely, um, you most definitely, um, what's it called? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, focus sash, right? Probably, right? Uh, we're gonna lead off, we're gonna lead off with, we're gonna go out into the runes, just get our rocks up. We're just gonna get our rocks up. He wants to go hard, he wants to go hard Corviknight, that's fine with me. I wish I would have had Poltergeist in that, in that scenario, but, uh, yeah, we're just gonna click Stealth Rocks. I think, uh, does Alakazam get taunt? I don't know. I'm clicking rocks, bro. I want him up. I want him up now. Oh, let me write down Alakazam. Alakazam! Alakazam KOs Raichu, was it? Okay. Now what's gonna happen, JV? The ball's in your court, brother. I'm clicking rocks. It's so obvious that I'm clicking rocks. Like, I guess I could be clicking Poltergeist. That could scare him out. Um, but I clicked rocks. So, I don't know. And if he's Life Orb Shadow Ball, he doesn't 2 KO me unless... Actually, no. If he's Life Orb Shadow Ball, he 2 KOs me. My calc is for Focus Sash. It's fine, though. It's fine, though, bro. It's it's all to get rocks up. It's all to get rocks up. Actually, low-key, I should have just attacked. But if I clicked Earthquake and he went hard out in a Corviknight, that was upsetting. You know what I mean? He withdrew. Okay, so I get free rocks. And he goes out into Slim Thick. Which your cute eye... Okay, he's going for the, the game. He's going for game. <laughs> now, am I going to let him bulk up? That's the question. What does more sh the most damage to this Grim Grim? Grim Snarl, dual screens. Earthquake does some damage. If he's Dynamax, it does not. I don't need this thing anymore. Low key? Like, I got rocks up. Hold up. I guess this is a good switch in for Raichu, potentially. Um... Let me just stay in, scout what he wants to do, because I could definitely see him bulking up here. Um, and I wish I was Iron Defense instead of Rock Blast now. <laughs> but I don't know. I can see him definitely bulking up here. And he Nasty Plots. Okay, well, we get damage off on this thing. Okay, so the Nasty Plots set. Let's assume you're 252. How much are we doing? Earthquake is doing... Damage. That did just about... Yeah, that did literally about as much as it's supposed to. So anyway, Modest with... Let's just give him Dark Pulse. Let's just give him Dark Pulse at plus two. Okay, so we know he's not like a Soul Vest or anything crazy. At plus two, he does Oko me outside of Dynamax form. So he doesn't, in theory, have to Dynamax here to Oko me. Um, but I could see him just doing it anyways. 
Um, let me just click Earthquake. Cause like I said, this man's ran his course. And he actually just stays in. They should Oko me. And it does. Imagine if I was sashed. Imagine. But anyways, alright, who revenge kills? Who revenge kills? Um, does Specs Inteleon. 68 to 80. If he's Dynamax, 34 to 40. So if I'm Dynamax as well, do I just go Inteleon now? And just max Airstream twice? Oh, no, do I max Airstream into max Hydro? Because that'll do it. Do I just do it? I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. I don't see why I wouldn't. Oh, wait, how much is Flash Cannon from Dragapult? Um, Flash Cannon does not enough. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go Intelligent. And I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for it, bro. Now, we saw that he wasn't Life Orb, right? I actually don't remember seeing that. But, let's see. Inteleon. I literally just calc this, but I'm going to check it again. Inteleon's max air stream does 24 into 45, which looks like that's about enough for me. Do I even need the max air stream? If he's Scarf Raichu, I do. So, let's do it. Let's do it. He could go hard Tentacruel here, and honestly, I'd be okay with it. I would be okay with it. If he went hard, tend to cruel. That's kind of it's smart if he does, but I don't know. I don't know. Does he pass up the plus two? Because he has a chance to knock me out, and it's actually a very high chance. I should just hydro snipe. It's actually an extremely high chance for if he's modest. If he's modest, it's actually a sixty-two percent chance. <laughs> okay, hold on. He actually has a really high chance of knocking me out here. I should. I might have misplayed. Okay, he Dynamax is smart. I should have just ma I should have just Hydro Snipe. I should just Hydro Snipe. That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> yeah, if I get knocked out here, which he has it, the, the the rolls in his favor to knock me out here. So if he does end up knocking me out here, that's I should have Hydro Snipe instead of trying to uh, play for the potential Scarf Raichu or something. But anyway, we see damage, and if we live, that's enough. If we live, that's enough. G-Max Snooze, it's going down. Don't kill me, please. Let's go! Don't get don't go don't get yawned. Don't get yawned. Don't get yawned. No, we're drowsy. Okay, so he 100 percent max guards here, right? Like that's just what he does. He's got to. He's got a max guard. He's got a max guard. He has no reason not to. Yeah, see, he has no reason not to. That's fine, bro. If I had max guard, I'd use it as well. Like right now in this situation. I wish I did. I was rocking focus energy over air slash, I think. Or maybe it was over something else. But he doesn't have rocks up, but I'm asleep. That is so unfortunate. Do I just throw this away? I need to know if I think Kiram can, in fact, flash cannon in this thing's face after this is over. Because we do 31 and he's probably about 30%. Yeah, I think I have to sack off my guy here. I had to sack off my guy here. I have no, yeah, I have no, I have no other out. That's a little unfortunate. It's a little unfortunate. Imagine we were focus sash Runarigas, and he sets the terrain. Okay. So we have to hope that Kieran 100% knocks you out. Who else do we have? We have Urshifu. Liquidation should knock you out too. Depending on what set you are, that's the thing. Can we know? Let's see. What in? We saw Antelion's move. We saw what else did we see. We saw this. I think he just has a bit of HP. I think he just has a bit of HP. So, uh, Kirim's our best bet to knock him out from this range. Um, right? 31 to 37. Urshifu does. 40. Oh, Urshifu's close combat actually knocks him out 100%. Let's just do that then. Uh, let's just do that then. Who's next? Who's left, I mean? Who's next? Who's left, I mean? Um, let's see. He doesn't have a ghost type left, right? No ghost type left. He does still have, um... I don't think that's 30%. That's the only reason why I'm not clicking liquidation. I don't know if I have enough switch-ins to do this. Like, if I click close combat here and he goes Alakazam... Um... Then that sucks. Because I don't really have an Alakazam switch-in. Anymore. 
I ever. I, I, I think it was, it was Runa Vegas. Yeah, Runa Vegas was the switch in. Oh, my man still has five mods left. This is actually kind of wild. <laughs> I didn't realize all this is going down. He withdrew. Probably out into the Alakazam. Can we... Chrome Dome. Corviknight? Nope. This man. This also resists. Okay, that's smart. He takes Rock's chip. Does this to a KO. The resist close combat. It does. Right? No Black Sludge, right? No Black Sludge. 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 He's got Black Sludge. Okay, so how much... How much did that actually do? Tentacruel. Uh, you no longer Dynamax. Close combat did... 26 to 30. Yeah, I'd say that's about 26 to 30. Do we risk it? I think I just click it again. He could skull burn me, I guess. Yo, and we knock him out. You love to see it. Okay, I haven't been writing down any of the knockouts after... After the after the Alakazam KO'd Raichu, I forgot to write everything down. <laughs> but it's fine. We, we look back. We can look back. Um, so we're making the differential a little bit better there. A little bit better. Um, Tokayami. How much do you do to Corviknight? We gotta know. We must know. Corviknight. Let's assume your bulk up or iron defense. One of the two. Close combat is a 2 hit KO. If we're at minus 2 defense, a Brave Bird destroys us. Do we need you anymore? I want to say yes. In theory. Let's see. For the... Yeah, we need you for the... For the... What's it called? For the Alakazam, kind of. So I got a Hopi Brave Birds over Iron Heads. And then I go out into... Tal do I just go hard Talonflame right now? I don't think I do. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Brave Bird, Brave Bird, I think, will do half my HP. But I think it's still worth it. Even if he clicks Iron Defense right here. I Even if he clicks Iron Defense or Bulk Up. Even if he clicks Bulk Up right here. He clicks Agility. This man. This man. This man. Hold up. What does Corviknight get <laughs> that's going to just destroy my Talonflame? So he's faster. This much we know. Brave Bird is a guarantee to a KO. My Flare Blitz does 68% from this range right now, which is all we need for Urshifu. Um, I want a Swords Dance. I'm just going to Flare Blitz, though. Is he faster than me at plus two? If he's got some speed investment, he is. And he definitely should if he's running this set. I'm just going to click Flare Blitz and see what happens. Let me just click Flare Blitz, see what happens. And he does bulk up. Okay, we still 2 KO him, though, right? Yeah, we still 2 KO him. Wait, oh, no, actually, no, we don't. No, we don't. Imagine I was Roost. I wish I was Roost. He's weakness policy. Bro, this Corviknight set. I love it. I love to see it. I don't know. I don't think he's faster than Scarf Kirim, though. So we literally just need to hit him again. Okay, so agility, agility, bulk up, probably Brave Bird Roost. I really want a Swords Dance. I think I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Because he's probably Roost here. He probably roosts here. Because if I just keep attacking myself, I'll knock myself out. You know what I mean? If that's what he's if that's what he's thinking right now. Yo, this Corviknight set is heat. <laughs> we got Endeavor versus Tokayami. Who's going to win? It's looking like Tokayami might win this one. Um, I wish I would have got a clean switch. I could have just closed combat it twice. I could have just closed combat it twice. I should have just done it. I should have just done it. Oh, well. We're here now. Any power trips? Oh, this is knocking me out. Okay. Okay. Now I gotta find out. Um, let's see. Let's give him enough HP to... Not HP. Let's give him enough speed to outspeed this man. 375. We'll just say, we'll just say he has that much speed. Does... Uh, um, or Shifu knock you out if you're at plus one defense? We don't even outspeed you because of my set. So that's unfortunate. Brave Bird. Okay, so wait. Is your other move Brave... No, it's gotta be Roost. Is Power Ship his only move? If it is, then Urshifu's the play here. If it's not, then Kirim is also not the play here. Bro, this this Corviknight was heat. I can't wait to talk about it afterwards. All right, I gotta hope I either outspeed or um I don't outspeed. Especially if he if he um if he calc this to be faster than Talonflame, which he was faster than Talonflame, then he definitely outspeeds me here. Um, but let's find out if a close combat does indeed knock it out. Let's find out. He won this 100%. There's no way I can win this with Scarf Kirim in the back. I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. Unless this, this, this power chip shouldn't kill me. So if he doesn't have Brave Bird, like, we'll be good here. I'm assuming his last move is Roost, but maybe it's Brave Bird. It's Roost. Yo, this is going to be super effective now. 
He's lowering my defense though. This is really smart on his part. It is actually really smart. But this is super effective now. Okay, so that's a solid 2 KO. I literally just need him in range of freeze dry from, from Kirim. To have any sort of hope. You know what I mean? To have any sort of hope. <laughs> but he can just stall all my close combats. And that's actually it's actually smart of him to do if he does that. Because he definitely needs my defense lowered a little bit more in order to Oko with Power Trip. Because I do naturally resist it. Let's just put Power Trip here real quick. Power. He bulks up. Okay, this should knock him. No, this should knock him out. Never mind. Bro, this man is so smart. You gotta love it. Can I crit? Let me get a crit for the one time. No, sir. <laughs> Alright, Power Trip's doing damage. Um... Let's give him 252. Let's give him 252 and that. Imagine I was flame charge. On Fort. On Talon Flame. Alright, so yeah, Power Chip's actually not even Oko and Kirin from this range. Um, so he definitely needs more with with uh to Oko Urshifu. But I don't know, I didn't minus my defense. I'm low-key just gonna keep clicking this in hopes that I potentially um Okay, I think I think he's in range of freeze drive. Yeah, he's in range of freeze dry. And now it's all up to it's all up to Kirim. Just all up to Kirim. Freeze dry. Oh wait, he's gonna roost. He's gonna roost. He won. He won, guys. He won. Unless wait, we're faster, right? We are faster with Scarf. Let's go. Hold on. Okay, hold up. A crit? That crit did not matter, guys. That crit did not matter. I wish I would have gotten with Urshifu, <laughs> but whatever. Because then we would have been faster than the Alakazam, and we potentially... Alright, so Alakazam can only Oko me with Focus Blast, right? Alakazam... Focus Blast. Actually, Focus Blast doesn't Oko me. Let's find out... Let's see... What's if, what if he's Life Orb? What if he... What if he... What if he... What if he... Even if he's Life Orb, it has a chance. It has a high chance. It has a mad high chance to Oko me. But my Freeze Dry does... Well, voice crack. My Freeze Dry doesn't 2 KO him. Um... Well, it does, but it has, a, it has a small chance not to. 85% chance to 2 a KO, and he has a 81% chance to Oko with Focus Blast, but also as well, he could miss. So let's see how it happens. Let's see how it goes. Because Psychic, nor, Nast nor Shadow Ball do it. Even if he's like, even if he was Scarfed. Goes out to Slim Thick. Oh, snap. I don't think this does enough. I think he might have Sucker Punch on this thing. Okay, it does enough now. Actually, no, wait. He's a special set. He shouldn't have Sucker Punch. If he does for the chip, then Thunder Wave. He misses. That is so unfortunate. Oh, I'm so sorry, JV. 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 But my man, my man JV gets riddled with unfortunate RNG, like, game after game. If he loses this because of that Thunder Wave, I'm going to feel so bad. Coco? Who's Coco? This thing's 100% scarfed or sashed. Oh, well, the sash doesn't matter anymore. I don't think I Oko, though. I, I always click freeze dry. I don't, there's no point in looking anything up. I always click freeze dry. Um, 60 seconds till the battle ends. He's got to select his move, but I'm pretty sure... He's scarfed. Okay. That did damage. Don't lower my spadef. Thank you. Freeze dry. Does not... Oko, okay, we click freeze dry again. If his Alakazam isn't Sash and I can crit, then we win. But otherwise, his Alakazam cleans up. So yeah, man, very good game played by JV. That Thunder Wave, that Thunder Wave, that Thunder Wave miss was almost super unfortunate. Um, maybe if I was Ice Beam, this would have been a little bit better. I think his Alakazam just wins here, though. Makarov, because he doesn't get hit by Rock, because he has Magic Guard. Um, and it, I guess if this freeze drive freezes, then I have a chance to win. That's my only win con, if it freezes. Okay, it didn't freeze. That's a GG to JV. My man snags his first W of Season 3 in the IBA. You love to see it. Oh, man, we almost had that. Almost had that. If we would have got a little bit of chip on that uh, Alakazam, that could have been all the difference. Maybe if I would have played my Inteleon a little bit better, that could have been all the difference as well. But, um... Yeah, man, super close game. I'm going to say GG to him in the chat. Then I'm also going to ask for an interview. 
if he wants to. But if not, then that has been week three. I do not want to play again, sir. I would love to cancel my battle. <laughs> That'll be uh, week three of season three of the IBA. My boy Kiram almost put in the best work for us. Almost was super clutch. Uh, you know, maybe if um, yeah, I guess just getting damage off on the uh, on the on the. If I was Sash Rodriguez, I would have got damage off on the Alakazam and potentially could have uh. No 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 no. That was no. It wasn't against Rodriguez. Who is Alakazam against? I don't know. I don't remember. But anyway, he said he wants to do the interview, so we're going to get into that right away. So I will see you all when the interview starts. All right, so we were able to snag an interview with the man, JV, coach of the Atlanta Victinis. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, bro. Doing good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Low key. Low key. Uh, first off, before we go anywhere, that Corviknight set was so dope. Bro, bro, I told you, I was <laughs> joking with you, and then, like, I was like, yo, I'm gonna actually bring Power Trip Corviknight. No, did you actually tell me Power Trip Corviknight? Because I remember you saying something about, like, a crazy Corviknight. Yeah, yeah, we were um, talking about it, like, last week when we were all team prepping, and I was like, bro, I'm gonna bring Power Trip Corviknight with Iron Defense, Agility, Bulk Up, and Power Trip, and then you were like, oh, no, Recovery Bet, and I was like, oh, shit, I'm gonna run Roost. <laughs> oh, man, I gave you, I, I gave you the, the, the last piece of the puzzle. That's unfortunate. But no, I, kn I knew, I was like, okay, so... His play is to obviously roost here while I close combat so he can Oko Urshifu eventually. Because yep. without that, I was living and I could I could 2 a with close combat. So that was really smart on your part. Um, and then I almost clutched it out with that Thunder Wave miss. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Yeah, bro. I literally, <laughs> the whole point was for me. I was going to go into Alakazam. And I was like, yo, I'm, I'm going to miss Focus Blast. I, that's what I was. Luck. Yeah, I'm yes. Going to Grimmsnarl and yes. Wave, and I've missed. Yes, that's exact. That was actually the back and forth I was having with myself as well. I was all like. Okay, if he goes out into Alexander, the only move he clicks is Focus Blast. That doesn't Oko me unless he's Life Orb, and he has to mm -hmm. land. So like, right. I have I have double the double the, uh, the the attempts, and I'm Scarf, so I could potentially freeze. Although I, yeah. you know, you never wanna you never wanna win that way. But if it happens, it yeah, happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but yeah, once that T wave missed, I was like, bro, if I win because of the T wave missed, and then I forgot you had Raichu in the back, and I was like, oh, I forgot about Raichu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, beautifully beautifully played game. I was super surprised that no Haxorus or Volcarona. Cause those two mm -hmm. were super on my radar as being like problems but uh um, yeah like your team like bro you have a whole inteleon and you have a potentially scarf um urshifu which yeah. you were banded <laughs> I, was, I was i was like, scarfed hey. actually you were scarf urshifu were you not max speed no i wasn't max speed that's why i, I didn't outspeed the corvin i was like man if i was actually max speed or even just enough speed to outspeed us i'm assuming you were speed creeping talent flame I was speed creeping talent flame, yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. So yeah, if I would have just sped crap my own talent flame, which all I needed to do was invest like thirty more in my speed, I would have been fine. But uh, oh, it is what it is. It helped. It helped in theory with the roost, kind of like mm -hmm. it made it super effective for one turn, made yeah. me feel good. <laughs> but that's about it. That was about it. So the, yeah, that was the whole thing. After a plus, after I ran ninety EVs in Corviknight, just in speed, just to at plus two, I outsped your talent flame at. Um, by one. Ooh, so oh, oh, wow. Okay. 90s EVs yeah. is all you needed. Bro, you know what's funny that you ran into some agility strats was I actually had my initial plan. I didn't want to run it because I was like, this, I'm never going to be able to pull this off. Was um, I was going to baton pass agility from my, from my, uh, what's his face? What's the, what's the ninja? Oh, Excel Gore? Excel Gore, yeah. I was going to baton pass agility from Excel Gore to Skun Tank and then try and stench flinch oh, you to, to oblivion. I, had, I literally had you bringing Excel Gore, Skun Tank, Raichu, um, Inteleon and Runarigus. Because, in my opinion, I think Urshifu was absolute garbage against my squad because it gets walled by potentially a defensive tentacruel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's why I was running Scarf. No, not, not for the tentacruel, but I was running Scarf for like to try and, um, what's it called? Oko Volcarona before we can set up and yeah. try and basically catch you off guard. Uh, and with, like, um, I was initially going to bring Volcarona, like a quiver dance with Hurricane, Giga Drain, Flamethrower, but then I was like, that's that doesn't like when you look at your team it's just like you have too many answers for volcarona honestly yeah. like, like like not you, a, you can't oko there. enough things to warrant to bring it i guess but i was still fearing yeah. it like the threat's always <laughs> there yeah i definitely like turn one when i saw you right into right you i was like this man has surf oh yeah 100 percent. like if you were specs you still didn't oko me which was crazy you had a chance to but yeah because you were max like, wow. you were max hp i'm assuming because the speed i was well. actually not i was i was mostly actually let me just go ahead and show you because i was i thought that you might bring bronzong potentially ah, okay. and like try to speed creep me and like that okay, would be insane that. no bronzong was on my radar but i just can't i just can't find a way to work with bronzong like every time i i think about a set i'm gonna saw like 
Rune Regis does the same thing. Just yeah. a little better. It's like I low key, like I definitely should just like be dropping bronze on one of these days. Mm. De definitely, because I thought I thought it did not a bad job, but I mean, because I have a whole grim snarl, so it's like I understand because your two walls kind of don't do anything to it. I mean, yeah. besides like trip groom bronze on with iron head, which is the thing. But no, that uh, that grim snarl was actually pretty strong too. That nasty plot, bro, that actually mad caught me off guard. Yeah, I thought, yeah, because I thought, like, I was actually, like, right before our match, I ended up switching it to special Grimstar, because I was like, if you, by chance, even though I can 1v1 a Runarigus, yeah, like, 100%. even if I was max attack adamant, I, was, I wasn't I was killing Runarigus, and it was just barely living, so I'm like, yo, he can afford to just willow me, and then Grimstar doesn't do anything the whole game. I was actually max spadef Runarigus, so, like, <laughs> I still yeah. I still died. Plus two yeah, Dark I, Pulse, I, I ain't nothing. To, to, yeah, yeah I, I looked it up, too, like, during the match. I was like, oh, plus two. He's free to just plus two Dark Pulse. Like, he doesn't even have to Dynamax. G-Max, yeah. Or G-Max, yeah. So, like, I was like, this, I was like, I guess Runarigus got his rocks up. That could help me in the future. Yeah, but, yeah uh, they did do good chip. It was a good, yeah. Because I was like, damn, I really can't. In that turn when I was in Alakazam, I was like, I can't. I thought you were gonna predict it and go for Willow, but I was like, I'm okay with him doing Willow because I'm I'm special anyways. But then like, the big thing was the Inteleon getting drowsy, so I was like, oh, yeah, I was so mad, bro. Like, and I was I was like, he's gonna max guard because he like, that's how he wins. You know what I mean? Like, if you max guard right after you made my man drowsy, like obviously like he's got an acid plot, he's max guarding. I was like, I was like, I could like call that and double like, but it's like, is there a reason? Like, I I guess in theory I maybe should have went out into like. Urshifu or something on that turn because like you always max guard that turn you know what I mean yeah always so like I guess I could have just I could have like went out into, into Urshifu but I don't know I didn't want to risk anything like that but yeah. um I probably should have low key and that's why I had fired off the max starfall just in case you wanted to double out oh like while I was sleeping asleep, yeah I was like you might just do it no I on... I actually did kind of think about it after I fell asleep I was like I low key thought about it I was like do I preserve because I was specs in Teleon which obviously didn't matter yeah, that was scary. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, yo, low key, if I if I do swap, I was like, but I'm asleep, so I'm not, so I have to I have to wake up, and there's no way I'm waking up on 16 HP long, you know what I mean? Like I'm not right. surviving yeah. long, like so I was like, I, if I was gonna double, I should have doubled while I got drowsy, because I knew you yeah. were gonna max guard, but I didn't, and it is what it is. Yeah. I needed everybody else basically. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, that was scary, cause like I I went for max Starfall, but like I was like, yo, I should have just max snooze, because then like. Once I was out of G-Max, like, that gave Urshifu the ability to come in for free. And I wanted to just initially T-Wave it, but I was like, shit, the terrain's up, so I can't. Yeah, so yeah, that was lucky dope. I didn't even put that together, but I was, I didn't even, T-Wave wasn't even on my mind. Well, you, you were just, obviously, you, yeah, you were just Dark Fairy then. Yeah, I was just, yeah, yeah. And okay. then I was like, I can't, can't do it. So that's why I went Tentacruel, because, like, I was like, I didn't, Tentacruel was for Inteleon, because I was yeah. on a special wall yeah, to do it. Yeah, yeah, I like, figured. I, like, I don't need it anymore. Yeah. And then Corviknight setup was the wave. I was actually surprised that I even 2 it KO'd you with close combat. Oh, yeah. That's why you thought I was banned, I assume. It's so freaking frail, so I was like... <laughs> just throw it away. But, uh, but yeah, man, congratulations on your first win. It's off It's hey. off, It's off. off the tables. Now you, uh, you know, you don't gotta... Hey, appreciate it, man. You don't gotta be tripping over the next battles. Now it's all smooth sailing from here. I gotta get a second win, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. I you gotta got, get a second win. But we, we're able to team prep now, so... Yes, for sure, 100%. <laughs> now, we, now we can stop playing mind games with each other. <laughs> can't believe you actually brought that Corviknight, bro. That Corviknight was so dope. I, I loved it. I was so happy to get it off because I was, I was. If you were um, flame charge, then yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that in my head, not in my head. I said that I was like, like, I, like, t what, like when I was dealing with with it with Urshifu, I was like, yo, imagine I was flame charge on Talon Flame. Yeah, you would have been. It would have been a different story. I was, I, like, Shit. I was freaking default because I was convinced that you were bringing Sandaconda and you were just gonna click rocks turn one because I had like nothing to Oko it. Yeah. So I was all like, unless I was like Specs, um, Kirim, Inteleon. or Intellion, yeah, I guess that too. But uh, but yeah, so I was like, he's definitely like I, I just thought you were one hundred percent bringing rocks, and I wasted another slot on Talon Flame with heavy duty boots because you just have to, bro. It's, it's I mean, so I, I did bring rocks. So they were on Marowak, but you led the Raichu with Surf, so I was like, I gotta. I was like, yeah, he's probably either Focus Sash or Life Orb, and I was like, okay. Yeah, I was focused ass just to try it. Uh, like in the worst case scenario, he can at least like uh, waste two turns of uh, Dynamax. Was basically. Oh the yeah, idea. that's smart. That's smart. And that's why I was Lightning Rod this week because I knew. I, ah, I knew. Oh, I'm so glad lightning. I didn't click Volt Switch, bro. I wanted to click Volt Switch so bad, <laughs> but I was like, nothing switches into Poltergeist, and I, yeah, I, and I don't want him to be Lightning Rod, and I waste the whole turn. Exactly. But yeah, no, I, I wanted to click Volt Switch so bad. 
Why why no Exogor though? Um okay, so instead of what was it? Instead of Talonflame and Rune Regis, I had a Selgor and um Skuntank for that little shenanigans set I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't feel comfortable running it. I was like, I don't think he's gonna give me a chance to do this. And uh like low key it kinda would have worked because you did lead you did lead the uh the uh, Amerowak. Mm hmm But so like like you still would have killed me though, so I don't think it would have worked worked. Yeah, and that's why like I brought Marowak also because I know you like to lead final gambit so yeah. i was like i have to bring marowak initially and plus it goes in on like it's i can oko a max defense runarigus with poltergeist so I yeah was like, it's insane yeah it's insane it's so such a strong move a little marowak with his stick club <laughs> slash choice band is just so strong you know what i'm saying it was, it was but, a good match man. yeah no it was a really good match it was a really good match i wish i would have won but <laughs> but i'm loki <laughs> i'm loki okay with it um Barring any freeze hacks, that was like that was the only thing that was gonna get get me to win yeah, the game. I was really scared. I really thought you were gonna freeze my Alakazam. And <laughs> when I was like, bro, are you? That's what I was me? saying. I was like, yo, I mean, I could freeze, and then it didn't happen. I was like, man, unfortunate. I wasted I wasted it on the missed T wave, to be honest. Yeah, that was. It was unfortunate. That was unfortunate because that well, sealed the game hundred percent. Yeah, if you would have T wave me, like you would have you would have preserved differential easy. Yeah, even if I had just roosted. Corvin, I I could have. I thought I thought for sure it's what you're doing, but I, like I, I didn't was... think you were gonna be scarfed. Uh, drag, uh, not Dragapult, scarfed Kiram. I didn't think you were gonna. Oh, be... that makes sense. Yeah, because you would normally outspeed. Yeah. Yeah, that I was that plus two. I was like, yeah, I outspeed this man. Just go ahead, power trip. Yeah, we wasn't we wasn't bluffing no scarfs today, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna be scarfed. <laughs> oh, we were running, we were bluffing no scarfs today. The I only did one practice match, and in the one practice match that I did, Drag uh Dragapult, uh Kiram, scarf Kiram, like literally cleaned up like it like it almost did just now it actually cleaned it did, up did. the last four um cause, but that's because i had a little bit of chip on alakazam but yeah, yeah didn't get any and for it and that damn magic guard blocking those rocks chip which wouldn't have mattered like that wouldn't have yeah, yeah. that wouldn't have finished him off but it would have made me feel a little better yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah man i guess that's gonna be the interview portion of the video anything else you want to add on to that uh, well, I'm I'm excited to team build with you and Cahoots again. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> uh, and then also, uh, we this is not the the sec. We're gonna be fighting another time today, later today. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's that's gonna be a lot of fun. If you if you guys don't know, check out EJ's tournament on Electric Jazz Cats channel. Um, shameless plug. We're in the finals. It's gonna be a good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh yeah that's gonna be it if you all like what you saw and you saw what you like don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new make sure you check out jv links to his channel will be in the description down below and uh we'll see you in the next one peace